Hi guys, welcome back in the React JS video tutorial. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn the unit testing. Okay, and specifically on the uh, how we can make the snapshot uh, with the React and the JEST. Okay, so first question is why is the snapshot and why we have to make it? Okay, so basically snapshot is used for comparing the code. Basically, you can say that let's say before 10 days I write some code okay and now I am getting some error in this code so I want to check that what uh, are the changes are made here and is there some code changes or um, anything else is happened so I can run the snap to snapshot testing again and I can find that what changes are occurred in my component okay so now let's start with the code okay so first of all I'm going to stop the unit test casing just clear the screen okay so first of all I need to install the react test render okay so just write here npm install react test render okay this is the enter I already installed uh, the react test render so maybe it will tell us that uh, nothing to update okay so now now just we can wait for this okay for that uh, I'm going to show you my the code this is my app.js file and we are going to write the snapshot of this and uh, uh, this is my app.test.js we, we are going to write this code again after that okay we will clean this code and write the uh, new code okay uh, because this is not uh, a snapshot testing and after that you will see that there is a one more folder with the name of snapshot will be created and here our snapshot will be stored okay so here you can see that uh, uh, this is installed now okay so there is telling us some vulgarities in this uh, npm install and uh, some warnings here but we can for now we can ignore them okay so uh, after installing them what I'm going to do I'm going to remove this one okay so I don't need this also uh, I need the react and I need this component is imported from here and this is a by default code if you are just uh, install the fresh react okay so what I'm going to now use I'm just going to import render Render uh, from from where uh, React test render. Okay, fine. So now I'm going to just write a test case. Okay, so here what I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put the message first of all. First of all. Uh, just right here first snapshot test okay so and in the second parameter I go I'm going to use uh, arrow function and here I'm going to uh, create a constant and I can I want to put the name of component because we are going to write the snapshot of the component okay and just write here render dot create and uh, in this just use your app component okay very simple now after that uh, you can put the semicolon and just check a variable like tree why tree because uh, imponent component have some hierarchical structure so we can put the name whatever we want but I like uh, tree name personally okay so just write here component that one component and just create the JSON to it to JSON okay and this JSON is the function and after that just write the last line expect and inside the expect uh, it is expecting the tree and to match snapshot okay fine so now you will see that uh, here you we will see a new uh, folder 
with that uh, the name of minus minus o hyphen hyphen snapshot okay so now just run this test cases for the run what i have to write here just write npm test and you will see that the test case is just start to running okay uh, now just see that inside the source we got a new folder with the snapshot okay and here the first test is running one snapshot is written one snapshot written from the one suit timing and all these thing all right so now just open this file and you will see that app.test.dsjo snapshot here we got the just copy of this one okay so you can just compare it okay this is the header and this is the main div whatever we can see that as uh, same as here main div and header okay so now let's say just after 10 days uh, somebody has come here and just made some changes like okay like this so now whenever I'm going to run it again it will show me that the snapshot failed why failed expected to match what is the not match here now it will tell you that the before is like this and now it's like this why so so it can tell us that uh, we got the issue like this and we can uh, resolve it by if I just put it uh, remove it and you will see it will run again and the test case is passes okay so this is a very simple example of uh, how we can write the snapshot of uh, uh, in the react js with the just if you have any more queries you can ask me in the comment box in the next video we will learn how we can test the functions states probes and variables apis mock function we will uh, uh, learn in the next video so don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have still any kind of specific question you can ask me in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching